For months, Metro Public Health has been releasing COVID-19 patient data to first responders so they can keep from getting sick. But the health department has decided to end that practice, at least for now. News Channel 5's Chris Davis has a preview of what may come next. In this fight against COVID-19, knowledge is power. I get the importance of, of first responders having access to information. But Dr. Alex Jahungir understands everything has its limits. But I also recognize the importance of privacy. And I recognize the concerns that are out there by um, a lot of people. Which is why the Metro Board of Health voted Thursday to end the controversial practice of sharing COVID-19 patient data with first responders, at least for now. To make sure that it, it, it meets the needs of, of all people in our community, from the first responders to people who worry about privacy and security. The mayor's office is working with Metro Public Health on a new database that would hopefully incorporate both knowledge and privacy. The news process would keep that information in a very secure database in health. And only people within health who have certain access get it. Law enforcement would still get the information they need without names or identifiable information. They can query, it's not automatic, they can query this health database saying, we're responding to 234 Main Street. Um, is there anyone of concern there? And the answer comes back, yes or no, period. No names, yes or no. Another aspect of this database is the information would be updated in real time, meaning if you've recovered from the coronavirus, your name would be taken off of the list and it would stay that way. Jahangir is confident the Board of Health will approve this improved system. The only unknown, when the database will be ready. We're not sure. Um, some people say it can be done within a week, some people say within a, a month or two. There's some technical components to it, uh, but it has to be done right. In Nashville, Chris Davis, News Channel 5. And some have expressed concern that ending the program will leave first responders vulnerable. Dr. Jahangir told us rectifying patient privacy concerns was their priority with this decision.